guys today I'm not driving at all but instead of it I'm talking about what I've done for a few days now so I decided to do and did a lot of rework with my sim rig uh, the first thing which started all this mess was I decided to do this kind of walls so I can hide all the cables and stuff wherever my rig is so and why why is that it is because we have a dog these days and I don't like uh, that our dog is eating my electronics so <laughs> It was pretty obvious I have to do something to prevent that. So, I did this was. Okay, but that's not everything I've done. Because I pretty much did all the cable management from this ground. Completely reworked all the cablings. And I achieved the situation that the only part which is not integrated for my rig uh, is the subwoofer which is located right behind this wall uh, but what makes this really interesting is the fact that when I'm sitting in my rig I because I have no speakers turned on, on if I'm using headphones. So if I want to turn on the speakers, I just press the button here on the right side. And there we go, we have a speakers. And what we have on the left side, we have a button for the steering wheel. Because... Mm, uh, I don't have to have the servo controller available. Uh, I'm just using the power button of the power cord itself. So this is this is uh, quite handy. And uh, and I finally got managed to get my button box installed so I did my own mounting bracket and by the way I want to warn you a bit because when I was mounting my button box this is Derek Spear uh, is it I don't remember which one is this is this some track boss or don't remember you can take a look uh, on Derek Spears website but mm, some of the uh, solderings were made very very badly I mean <laughs> it didn't look like a professional made at all I was shocked how bad it was well, I had to uh, do a lot of connections uh, redo a lot of connections inside this button box because it was really 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 bad as I said but that's all maybe if you are going to buy a Derek Spear button box you might want to take a look how it looks inside because I, I don't trust anymore it was so bad but uh, one thing I still want to show you is uh, you might have seen when I'm doing some videos with pedal cam so I need a light for the pedals uh, and I still have the same lights I had already small LED plates under my CPU case uh, and Previously I had to switch them off uh, 
behind my rig so that wasn't very handy so now I really located my switch and I can switch on my pedal lights with my feet which is also pretty handy so now I don't have to uh, now I can sit on my rig all the time and do everything I have to and that's that's the main thing I did and every cable is rigid used some zip ties and tape and stuff so but that's all if you have some questions anything just leave a message. I'll see you next time. Bye.